What is up YouTube? It's Herbo13 and I know it's been you know a week or so since I posted my last video. I was moving out of college. I was in finals week. I was just getting rid of all that stuff so I could get back home. I'm home now and I'm going to start making videos a lot more over this summer. I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands so I can be able to make these videos for you guys. And um, the first video I'm going to show you guys for this week is going to be this thing called Fences. Now this is a, a Windows 7 like add-on type thing I guess you could say. Um, it's what you guys see right here, these little red boxes. So you guys can make these whatever colors you want. And uh, these let you organize your apps or your uh, applications and your files in any different areas that you want, as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get this working. And it's uh, completely free. So I'll show you guys exactly what to do to get this right after this. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is download Fences, uh, the program itself. So you go to this website. I'll find it right now. So I'll have this link in the description. It's from CNET, so you guys will know that this is, you know, a real program and it actually works. Uh, it's got a four stars, four out of five stars uh, out of 1,084 votes as of this time right now. Uh, you just come up here and click the download. I'll have links in the description again. So you click on the download right there. You should then start downloading down in your uh, bottom left-hand corner where it will pop up. Just say yes. Uh, then it'll be fences underscore public dot exe. I'll have it on the home screen right here. So double click on that once you get it, hit run. And now this will install the program itself. If you don't have um, uh, one of the other ones, uh, th there's another program that you need to have this working with. Most of you guys will probably have it though. Uh, so if you don't have it, it'll make you install it. So that's no big deal. But once you get this, um, uh, I already installed this, but once you get it, you'll uh, come into the fences thing and I'll show you guys exactly what this looks like. You open up fences. And once it is fully installed, you guys will get this little screen right here. So you have fences. You can do, you can change the uh, whatever layout you want. I'm just going to use customize because that's the easiest way. I can go to appearance. You can change the colors. Like I have it on red right now. If I wanted it to change the green, as you guys can see the background, they're changing colors right there. You can change to pretty much whatever colors you want. I like red. Um, you can change the saturation, you know, the darkness, the color, the, transpar uh, the transparency of them. I like them just dark so you can see them. And then the color intensity, you can make them, you know, whatever brightness of the color that you want. I like them right about there. So once you get there, you can then uh, do outline fences area such as that or fade in scroll bars when inactive. So the scroll bars are on the uh, side. If you can see it, if I do this, scroll bars are right here. And then when I let go, they disappear. So that's what that scroll bars means when, you, uh, they, uh, when they fade when you're not uh, inactive. So you can just check that and check whatever ones you want. You can go to tools. Uh, you can show and hide desktop items when double clicked. This is one uh, cool feature that it has. When you double click uh, the home screen, it will actually disappear. So it will like, clean up your home screen if you guys want that to happen. Uh, I like, actually like to do that on my videos sometimes. So you guys have probably seen that. And if, uh, say, you wanted to keep um, your game's, your game's uh, fence uh, available when you double click, you go to View. So you right click on it, you go down to View, and then you click on Exclude this fence from Quick Hide. You just check that. Well, now when you double click, this fence will stay there. So like say you wanted to have you know half your fences there when you double click, you just double click, gets rid of half of them and you keep whatever ones you guys you guys uh, want to want to keep there. So that's a very cool feature that it has. Uh, what else does it have? It has you can take snapshots so that if you have it like you know in a specific way that you want to have it, you can then take a snapshot of that so that you can go back to it if you ever you know change anything, but you can just revert to it or an old snapshot that you have which is a pretty cool feature. Then you get your help and your about section so you can check for updates right there. Um, but the way that you get these fences to show up is instead of left clicking, you know, when you, like when you left click and drag, you get this little blue box. If you right click and drag, you'll get the same blue box, but now when you let go, it'll say create new fence. So again, if you left click and let go, nothing will happen. I'm left clicking right now, but now if you right click and let go, it'll say create new fence here. You click on that, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'll say test. So now this is it, uh, the test fence that I made. And now you can uh, you can change the size of it however you want. Uh, you can make it huge. You can make it you know pretty tiny if you want. I'm gonna make it right about there. And now if you wanted to lock your fences so that you couldn't move them around like this, like I'm doing right now, if you want to lock them, you right click on one of your fence, go to view, and then go down here where it says lock fences, and just click on that. And now you see I cannot move them. I can't move them around. I can't. Um, change the size of them at all. I can't uh, do anything like that. So if you want to unlock them, you just go back into view and go to lock fences again and now they're unlocked and you can move them around however you want. Uh, to move apps into the fence, all you do is grab them and then you let go in there and they'll automatically jump to the first little slot. 
Uh, so say I wanted to move around some of my games or my web browsers or something, I want to move this over here, it just automatically chooses the next slot for it to go to. And again, if I want to move them back, it does the exact same thing, just moves to the next slot. Um, so these are really good ways to organize your desktop. If you guys, uh, you know, if you're all cluttered and you want to keep them in, you know, you know, their own categories, I guess. This is kind of like the folders thing on an iPod or an iPad or an uh, iPhone. You know, you can just, you can put all the, uh, like I have my Minecraft servers over here, I have my web browsers, my games, if you guys can see, my computer maintenance uh, programs over here, my programs up here, uh, just, you know, my other crap over here. I just have, you know, I like to keep all my stuff organized and this is one of the easiest ways to do it because then once you put all the apps in one place, if you want to move this around, all the apps follow it. So say like, if I just wanted to, you know, move this over here, my computer maintenance over there and put that right back up there there it's that easy that way i don't have to you know go and drag and drop each each uh, app or if i didn't want to hold all these and bring them over there like that it's just it makes it a lot easier to organize your desktop and i, I love this especially with dual monitors as you guys you guys can't see right now but i'm running dual monitors um over on the right side and i also have uh a few fences over there and that keeps track of all my stuff on my other monitor as well so i hope you guys like this it's free it's from cnet i'll get, have all the links in the description uh, this has been out for a little while um, if you guys did like this, please hit the like button down below. I promise to be making more and more videos this week in this entire summer, so guys look forward to that. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Um, I love it when you guys post comments down below. So tell me if you guys use this, if you use any other uh, I don't know, organization type stuff for your computers. Uh, this is just for Windows 7. Sorry, Mac users. There's nothing out there for you guys yet, uh, but hopefully they'll come out with that for you guys soon. So again, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.